with time. Lost to an open. Everybody safe route to the end zone. Touchdown! Touchdown Bears! There's an old cliche. What's in a name? What's in yours? My dad's name is John. Um, growing up, there was a lot of Johns around. He didn't like that, you know. He, believe, he believes in powers and names and numbers, so he wanted all his kids to have unique names, so he named me Equinemius, which comes from the word equanimity, which means, you know, calm, level-headed, um, good under pressure. And then um, his last name is Brown, ours is St. Brown. Um, Brown is a slave name, you know, it's not, a, it's not an African name, so he wanted to change that, and plus, you know, St. Brown would look better on a jersey. What's your full name? Equinemius Tristan Emotep J. St. Brown. And they all have different meanings. Yeah, yeah, yeah Tristan probably. is what my mom would have named me. Thank God, I'm not named Tristan. No, no offense to any Tristans <laughs> out there. But, um, and then uh, Emotep, he's an Egyptian pharaoh uh, back when. And then J stands for John and then St. Brown. How's it going, bro? How you doing? I'm good, how you doing? You back? You playing? Yeah, I got it tonight. You got you? Know, yeah, yeah, you have to play under the lights. Your name, does it describe you perfectly? I think it does. Yeah, I think uh, that comes with also being an older brother. You know, I have to have better control of my emotions, you know, especially with two younger brothers, you know, you get rowdy, you fight a lot as little kids, but being older, being stronger and bigger, I have to be more in control all the time. Yourself and Amon, Rod. You guys maintain the NFC North love here. Uh, first to uh, Green Bay, yeah. now here, he's in Detroit. Mm -hmm. um, how close are you two? Do you guys talk during the week of games? And, and, and can you compare notes a little bit on teams you face? We talk a lot, especially, um, you know, we play a lot of video games together, so we're always on the headset together. Uh, we play the same similar amount of games, so I'm always talking to them. Not always about football. You know, we rarely talk about football, but um, we're not really comparing notes that often. It's more like just, you know, a little fun talk. One, two, three, hey! Here comes the man they call the showman, and you'll see why. John Brown from the USA. With your father, there's so much about him. I mean, he's his own story. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. what he did in terms of the weightlifting world and his success, he's legendary. I was not born in that era, so, um, you know, I was born after he retired, so. But I still see some fans, you know, some bodybuilding fans every now and then. Hey! Uh, so let's do, uh, do two and a quarter. My sons are pretty strong. Coaches always ask me, how do you do that? I'm like, dude, I'm tired of explaining this to you guys. You gotta train your whole body. He sounded like a very flamboyant, difference maker in the sport. Mm -hmm. uh, he was an entertainer, not yeah. just a performer. Mm -hmm. The way he explains it is that, you know, he's one of the first guys to, you know, bring like a lot of dancing to the, the sport. So, you know, I seen the videos on YouTube of him dancing, you know, pop locking <laughs> and stuff like that. And it's pretty, it's pretty good at it. So I'll give him his props on that. And uh, yeah, it's, it's fun to watch. Cheers.